Hootie Who Girls. Okay, I just had to post, actually get the courage to post a little video about how my Valentine's Day 2010 went down. And it wasn't pretty. I learned a really valuable lesson this Valentine's Day. Do not, do not make Valentine's Day a picture or a representation of how your husband feels about you or how much he loves you or hmm, how much he appreciates you. Don't put that, all that baggage on the Hallmark holiday of Valentine's Day. I did that and it was ugly. My husband was leaving on a trip to LA Valentine's Day at five o'clock. And I jokingly was like, you know, earlier in the week, like, oh my gosh, our Valentine's Day night's gonna be basically watching Truman in his basketball game at four and then you leave. Gosh, that's gonna be fun, ha <laughs> ha. He's like, oh yeah, it'll be okay. So that said to me, oh, maybe he's gonna like breakfast in bed or flowers or, you know, loads of cards to make up for the fact that he was leaving um, Valentine's Day night. Not so much. He was completely, completely, understandably overwhelmed a bit by this huge project that he's working on. Packing, getting ready for it. And pretty much, I think, just decided that, you know, this year just really didn't matter and I'm busy and I love ya. It'll be okay. So, hmm, I woke up with a different agenda. So when I quickly realized at breakfast that like it wasn't going down the way I thought it was going down, my emotions got the best of me and I literally, I'm a pretty stable person. I pretty much jumped off a cliff emotionally. I was so unhappy that day and pretty much from that point on, nothing he did, nothing he was gonna do was really gonna matter. He did actually then go out later in the day and buy me this like ridiculously cute like stuffed monkey that said I'm bananas for you which you know what guys when your wife's bummed and a little angry the cute little stuffed monkey not the way to go better would have been like here's a gift certificate for a massage and let me leave but anyway I digress I have just learned a lesson that if you have decided to put massive importance on a day like that, you need to tell your husband. I think he was completely dumbfounded. <laughs> he went on his trip, came back, and honestly, I needed like a day away to get perspective, and it's all good now. But did anybody else have like the Valentine's Day from you know where this year? Because as I'm reading down through my tweets, it was like, I love it. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Feel the love. And I was just like nearly wanting to throw my laptop out the window. So anybody else have a story like that to share? Because mine was ugly. All right. Have a good rest of your week. And please, if you had a crappy Valentine's Day, share it with me too.